Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In our journey to understand the oracle concepts, today we will try to see a very important and repetitive requirement that is the use of dependent parameters in VIP reporting. Today we will be generating a data model which will extract information on a supplier and supplier address. The two parameters will be passed here, one is the supplier and the other is the supplier address. The supplier will be an independent parameter and supplier address will be a dependent parameter. What I meant by saying dependent parameter is that if we choose supplier A, then all the, sup uh, all the addresses associated with that supplier only should be listed in our supplier address parameter. Without wasting any time, we will go to the uh, BIP reporting page. For that, we have to go to tools. and then reports and analytics the reports and analytics page uh, then we'll click on browse catalog as i have told we'll be generating a data model so to do that we need to go to new and then on the data model we'll be extracting information on supplier from the application so to do that we'll be writing an sql query so to write the sql query you need to go to new and then select the sql query here it asks us to provide a name it could be anything I'll be giving supplier and supplier address then second thing it asks us to provide the data source as we all know that suppliers come under procurement module and procurement is procurement module is nothing but the supply chain module so we'll be choosing application dbfs CM. So if say if we are extracting information on the SCM model, we will select SCM and respectively CRMNO. Now we have specified the name and the data source and a type of SQL will be nothing but standard SQL. To save time, I have already written the extraction query. So this is a select clause and it extracts information from POZ suppliers V, as Z parties, as Z party sites and SZ party site users. By the way, I have made a detailed video where you can find the tables associated with each modules. Please, I will provide the link for that. Please check that out. Okay, now coming to the query, uh, please see the line 23 and 24. I have added nvl colon p supplier name comma psp dot vendor name. Similarly, uh, for the party site name I have given colon p supplier address colon is nothing but the indication that it's a parameter and giving it helps the system to identify that we are passing the parameter i'll show you how so once we are done with writing the query we'll just click on ok now the system on itself identifies okay there are two parameters and the names are listed here so we want both of them so i'll select both i'll select the display name also so display name for the supplier uh, parameter supply name parameter would be supplier and for address it will be supplier address it is free text we can give whatever want, whatever we want now we are done with the data set we have specified the parameters now the second step is to specify the LOVs for these parameters so to do that we'll go to list of values we'll click on LOVs and here we'll click on add so my first LOV will, will be supplier LOV so I'll just give the name supplier LOV it is free text we can give whatever we want the type will be SQL query and the data source again we need to specify application DB fusion SCM F SCM stands for fusion SCM now this is the section where you can write the query for the LOVs I have already written that I'll just copy it and paste it here uh, what I'll do I'll share this query in the description box so we are done with the LOV for supplier Similarly, we'll create a LOV for supplier address. As discussed, 
supplier LOV will depend upon the supplier so we have to handle that in a query uh, so I'll be extracting the address name and in my where condition for the vendor name I have passed the parameter which I which I am using in my main data set so specifying that parameter here will only select the addresses which are associated with the supplier and here also the data source sorry yeah and here also the data source will be application FCM so now we are done with the data set we are done with the list of values and parameters are defined the third step is to associate with associate these LOVs with the parameters so for the supplier name here the parameter type will be now a menu and supplier LOV uh, specify 100 is fine for us and then you see refresh other parameters on change if we check this the supplier address will automatically getting updated every time we choose a different supplier so we'll do that here you see when uh, we select all what should happen here by itself it is selected null value pass we can also do all values pass but when we select all values part we have to take we have to check one thing in a query that is when we choose all value pass here instead of equal to it should be in in operator should be used but we are choosing uh, null value pass so when all is selected then null value will be passed and that NVL condition is already handled in a query hope this thing is clear I repeat it again in the parameters list we will be having a list of all the values which are there for the supplier and when we ha will have an all option so if we check null value pass when will be selecting all it will treat it as an uh, it will treat it it will treat it as a null value and our query will pass the vendor name and when we are selecting all values pass then we have to give in operator because if we give equal to operator the query will not be correct because in equal to operators and if we have multiple inputs here that will result in error I hope this is clear now so now we have specified the LOV for the supplier name similarly we will specify the LOV for the supplier address here it will again we select menu and here we will select supplier address LOV okay we have other option we can enable multiple selection I won't be selecting it here no, now uh, everything is ready now is the time to test whether it's working fine or not so to do that we will click on view data okay now here I am select I am selecting all supplier and all supplier address let's see what we get we will click on view see we have all the suppliers and the addresses asso associated with them uh, for lease supply see there are six now here we'll see for lease supplies and let's see what happens see we get the list of the addresses which are associated with this lease supplier now similarly again when we change to ABC Corp we'll see the addresses associated with ABC Corp let's test this so fine hope you find this video useful if you like the video please subscribe to my youtube channel so that keep bringing you the latest oracle concepts thank you